My name is Aaron Yu and I am running for class office. This year has been crazy and a big downer, but coming into next year, I want to make sure we have one heck of a year to make up for it. Vote Aaron Yu for class office. Hello, my name is Chloe Jan and I'm still not the perfect candidate. At the beginning of this year, I asked you to use just one of your five votes in the class office election for me, because I could get the work done and execute the ideas my fellow officers and students wanted to make real. Well, that paid off, didn't it? By the end of this year, our class will have conducted three fundraisers, more than any other class, all who have gained a profit and received positive feedback from students. During my time in class office, I've helped maintain a constant social media presence and connection to the student body, and also gained some valuable experience in organizing fundraisers and being an example in student leadership. I'm still not the perfect candidate, but like this past year, I can get the job done. You have five votes in this election, but one vote for me is enough for our class to continue succeeding. Thank you. Hey there, and welcome back to John's History. And today we're going to be evaluating the prompt, evaluate the extent to which Daniel John should be in your voting ballot for the period 2021 and 2022. We're going to be looking at the economic and the social factors why I should vote. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get to it. You can firstly vote for me based on economic reasons. Now, one thing that's crucially important as a class officer is raising money through fundraising events. And if you want to feel the guarantee that money will be raised next year, you can comfortably vote for me because through years of experience, I have an understanding of the ins and outs of how to facilitate fundraisers. But secondly, you can vote for me based on social reasons. Next year, I'll be pushing especially hard for student input so that we can host events that you all want to see. And moreover, I've had hands-on experience implementing advertisements so that you guys can know when, what, and how events will be happening. That's going to be it for today's video. If you want to see the continuity of success, then the short answer to that question is simple, but you might not get that complexity point. So please, vote John. Hello, my fellow intellectuals. I can see that you're already thinking about voting for me, Canaverora. This garden I grew behind me is proof of the effort and determination I'm willing to put in for our class. And let me give a literary analysis of it while I eat this hot chili to show you how I'm truly ready to struggle for you. Ah. This basil over here represents the tasty excitement I will bring to innovative ideas such as auctions where we can fundraise lots of moolah. <coughs> <coughs> These tomato plants symbolize all the actually, actually fun events that you all vote for. I'll make sure your voice can be heard. Finally, finally the growth of the beans is the growth of us as a community where we can share ideas and innovate to make Interlake the best. What's up class of 2024? I'm Chrissy Prana Rangen and I'm running to be one of your sophomore class officers. What makes a good class officer? First off, experience. I've been in leadership positions in multiple events and fundraisers. Next, a lot of commitment. I'll be 200% invested in making sure our class has the most fun and raises the most money. Making this year special is my number one priority. Now a pint of cre creativity. I have loads of great ideas for events and fundraisers, like a Halloween costume ball. We need a ton of spirit. Saints, I will make our spirit weeks and events as fun and exciting as humanly possible with new activities. Lastly, the secret ingredient. And that's your ideas and suggestions. I'll be always listening for new ideas and I'll be super approachable. There's just one more thing that you need to do to finish this, and that is vote Chrissy Priyana Rangen for sophomore class office. Hi, my name is Lily, and I think that you and I can both agree that these school days during COVID were kind of tough, and all we needed was just someone to listen to us. And not to toot my own or anything, but I'm pretty good at listening, and I'm sure everybody has great ideas. But other than me being great at listening, I can stay positive during harder times. You can count on me because I am here for you. I'm super fun, so I want to make sure that everybody's fun together. And lastly, I'm super creative, so I can think of ways for us to get the best prom ever by doing fundraisers that include everyone. Even though the school year was hard and boring because we were basically at the home the whole time, I want to make sure that the next year is flowy and we have as much fun as possible because you and I really deserve it. Anyways, be sure to click the little box by my name, Lily Law. Thank you. Hi, Interlake. 
My name is Rachel Chavla, and I am so excited to make our school an even better community of people who support each other. I will fundraise for our classes prom to be completely epic. And I'm an active member of the community and would love to bring spirit to Interlake, such as more spirit day competitions between grades. You can count on me for class office because I'm a great public speaker, will listen to your ideas, and always advocate for you. I also understand that many people want to have fun, and if you know me, you know I'm all about having fun. So I will ensure that our class is the best time ever. As the president of our school's mental health initiative, I prioritize the mental health of our student body and want to plan for stress relieving activities throughout the school year, but specifically during major testing seasons. This would include normalizing self-care days at our school, more frequent pajama days, and possibly pet puppy petting activities during finals or AP IB testing seasons. Remember to vote Rigi Chawla for class office. Hey y'all, my name's Rohan and I'm running for class office. Uh, as a past class officer, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. The most important parts about being a class officer is just that you care about improving the school and that you're willing to put the hours in. I promise you I can fulfill that commitment because I wouldn't have stuck around for a year doing this remotely only to apply for it again. Uh, you know, I believe that my experience as a class officer is going to make it so that we can finally have fundraisers people can get excited for as soon as possible because I know firsthand how slow it was. Uh, trying to plan out new fundraisers when he had to learn everything. I understand that some of you are really looking forward to like the first real in-person fundraisers we can have, but I also understand some of you just want to have a good time and make it through another year, and I want you all to be able to do that unimpeded. But all I ask is that you give me one of your five votes for class office, and really now, the only purpose this video has is to be memorable. <laughs> My name is Sahithi Chalam and I'm running to be one of your class officers. I'm super strong in collaborating with others, using my creativity for fun and profiting fundraisers, and going all out on spirit days to represent our class. Using my past teamwork skills in being in our school's varsity team, and my leadership skills from being officer in a variety of clubs, I'm the perfect fit to be your officer and to make your high school experience amazing, including the best prom. I promise to work hard, listen to your ideas, and keep up the posi positivity to make a great year. So, don't worry. On spirit days, I won't be looking like that grumpy old guy. Instead, I'll be, I'll be um, all decked out and ready to represent our class. So make sure you vote Sahithi Chalam. Hey there, Lake. I'm Taj. Sophomore year, do you want more engaging fundraisers like a carnival so we can have lots of fun while raising money for prom? And do you also want your ideas to be listened to and implemented by your sophomore class officers? Well, to make all of this happen, you'll need one last final touch. Me as one of your sophomore class officers. Previously, I've organized school fundraisers and dances, and I'm determined to make sophomore year the best year. So, add me into the mix. Vote Taj to make sophomore year a blast. Hello, my name is Trey West. You might know me from, well, nowhere, because you see I was never the most popular kid in school or entrenched in ASB making empty promises. Anyways, I'm running because I want to stick up for the little guy. No, really, I'm not that tall. Things I'll do is school fundraisers that are decided on by you guys and voted on by you like it ought to be, and we're just the ones who implement them. Before I have to go, I have one more thing for you guys to remember with the already huge amount of school stuff crammed in your heads. On election day and throughout the school year, West represents the rest. Hey freshmen, my name is Zoe Maricol and I want to make sophomore year the best it can be. To do this, I have three goals. Goal number one is to improve communication between class officers and students by letting you know updates within our grade and when we're planning our next event as soon as possible. Goal number two is to improve the feeling of community and belonging within our grade. The third goal is to get your suggestions and input on fundraisers through surveys, email, and social media so that everyone wants to participate in the next level of fundraisers that we plan. Achieving all of these goals will get us a truckload of money for prom and an overall amazing year. Since I was an ASB in my former school, which required leadership work, planning, and organizing, I know how to achieve all of these goals while making your voices heard. I have the dedication, energy, and drive to make sophomore year the best it can be. 
So what do you say, Saints? Boat Zoe Miracle.